On Take Your Pick tonight, your chance to win a set of handsome leather Gladstone bags that make packing a pleasure. Perfume from Giorgio of Beverly Hills. You'll look to the manner born in these barber jackets and caps. Windsurfers do it standing up, and so will you with one of these. Star in your own TV specials with the very latest video camera and editing kit. The Take Your Pick treasure chest containing £500. And you can also win John McEnroe's Book of Compliments. <laughs> a walnut whip. And a ballcock. And tonight's star prize is the holiday of a lifetime in fabulous Acapulco, Mexico, soaking up the sun and margaritas for ten days of five-star luxury. And now, here's the man with the cash and the keys, Des O'Connor. to take a pick. Now, all our contestants were chosen from right here in this crowd in the studio tonight before we came on the air, right? Yeah! Yeah, and as you can see, we've got a bonnie bunch in here tonight. And the contestants will all get a chance to win some of these fantastic prizes you've just been told about. First, though, they have to play the yes-no game with me. I'm going to talk to them for one minute and they're going to answer me without saying yes, without saying no, without nodding or shaking their heads. Those are the rules. We're pretty strict about that. The four that last the longest will go on to play Take Your Pick and a chance at the big prizes. But anyway, they can win a pound a second for every second they survive. But if they get it wrong, they're going to get a gong. So now let's meet the girl with the golden gong, Jodie Wilson. <laughs> oh, Jo. I went shopping today, bought you a present. <laughs> Don't look so surprised. Well, it's nice. A present. What did you get? I bought you some aftershave. Oh, I like aftershave. Do you? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I bought some aftershave myself just last week. A new one called Mucho Macho. <laughs> <laughs> Mucho Macho? It's for the man who fears nothing. <laughs> the man who has no threshold of pain. The man who will go anywhere. A man who is bold. A man who is reckless. Are you wearing it now? No, it stings. <laughs> <laughs> Just go and get the contestant, Jody. We're going to play the yes-no game. <laughs> Hello, you are Tracy, and you come from where, Tracy? Hounslow. Hounslow. That's yeah. near here. Fifteen minutes away. Fifteen minutes Not away. Too far. Not too far. You nodded. If you nod your head once more, I'm going to take you out of the game. <laughs> Did you nod? I certainly didn't. No, you, you won't nod, will you? Of course not. What do you do for a living? I'm a secretary at DHL. DHL? Is that one of the companies that says it could send things anywhere? Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> and the next contestant right in here, please. 21 seconds there on the phone. <laughs> Hello, John. You obviously got a lot Good of friends evening. out there. You got friends out there? Just a few. Just a few. <laughs> Are you feeling nervous? A little bit. A little bit. Did you want to come and do this in the first place, or were you press gang? Not exactly. You didn't want to do it, did you? Uh, <laughs> pressed. You were pressed, yeah. Very hard. Yes, but you're here, and are you going to enjoy it? Certainly. What do you do for a living? Maintenance. Have you got a family? Have you got a wife? <laughs> what about kids? You got any kids? <laughs> what are your hobbies? <laughs> any hobbies? Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> Yes, I am. Yes. <laughs> Hello, 
it starts there. Hello, it starts Hello. there on the Hello. clock. Hello, Dave. Turn this way, Dave. How are you, Dave? You I'm very well. Are you enjoying yourself? I really am enjoying myself. You look myself. as though you've got a wonderful, happy atmosphere. I'm really happy, Dave. Are you? I'm very, very what happy. What do you do for a living? Me, I work for the Nat West Bank. The Nat West Bank? I certainly do. Are these people from Nat West Bank? Not all of them, some of them are, though. Have you got an overdraft? Don't answer I don't that. Have overdraft. You don't have to answer that. <laughs> I don't want to. You're very bright, aren't you? Oh, what yeah. about sport? Do you like sport? What about like swimming? It. Do you like swimming? Swimming's not Let too bad. Let me ask you about your girlfriend. Do you have a girlfriend? I don't. You don't have a girlfriend? I do not. You don't have a girlfriend? <laughs> Hello, it starts there. Hello, Karen. What is your name? Karen, Hello. of course it is. It begins with a K, isn't it? K A. Where are you from? Birkenhead. Is that a Liverpool accent? No. Well, <laughs> 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 That's right. That's the next contestant right in here, please. Could be fun. Yes, right. You're obviously in a good mood. You are David. David Phillips. David Phillips. That's correct. What do you do? You, you're a taxi driver, aren't you? A London taxi driver. Yes, you told me that just very, very briefly. Just when I, I went right back, I said, "What do you do?" Because he was wandering around looking for things. Room, 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 room. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, um, that's these... what I do. That I get the shakes. Do so you get the shakes? I do. Uh, do you enjoy driving a taxi? Sometimes. Sometimes. Are people good? Are they happy? I mean, do we have? What I, 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 I don't. Let I... me ask you about sport. I want to change the subject. Do you like cricket? I do not. You don't like cricket? Not at all. What time. about your family? Do you have a family? I have two children. Boys, girls? One boy, one girl. Which is the oldest, the boy? The girl. The girl. That's correct. You didn't say yes, did you? I did not. You're doing very well. Am I? Yes, you are. <laughs> I like that. I like your attitude. This shirt, did you buy it in England? Uh, Hong Kong. Hong Kong? I think so. You think so? You're not sure? Has it fallen apart yet? <laughs> you brought it in fun. Hong Kong. I let did. me ask you about uh, let me ask you about theatre. Do you like theatre? What about music? Do you have a favourite pop star? Tell me about your favourite pop star. Andrew Ridgely. Andrew Ridgely? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's right, Cliff. And that was the last gentleman. They all did very well. We will check those scores. We'll check the scores, and the four that last the longest will stay on to play Take Your Pick and go for the big prizes right after the break. Take Your Pick, coming up. <laughs> Play take your pick. Now I wonder who's going to win. What will Dave win? The ball cock. Yay! Will Tracy win a trip to Mexico? Yay! Who knows? We'll find out as Judy brings on. <laughs> Little Jody's going to bring on the first contestant to play take your pick. <laughs> David, our taxi driver rang up. Fifty-six seconds on the clock. Fifty-six seconds. Thank you, Jody. Right now, David, just yes. relax, because I can see, I can tell the way you walked on there that you. I've got to be relaxed. Have you left your meter running? Yes. <laughs> right now, listen. Do couples, do couples, you see, when you see movies, couples yeah, sort do. of frisk around oh, in the back of terrible. taxis, don't they, in, in movies? Has any, have you ever oh. sort of looked in the mirror and seen anything? Uh, it happens you? all the time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's Just terrible. It's hear, terrible. I try not to look in the mirror, but I can't stop myself. What, what, what's. Oh, you've seen people. It's lovely. I mean, it's terrible. It's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen people? Try and get in the back with them. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, I'm going to ask you three <laughs> out of four. Stand still now, look at me. Now I said, what did, don't rush into this, what did little Bo Peep lose? Was it her crook, her sheep, or her season ticket to watch Atherton Stanley? Her sheep. Her sheep, she did. That's a silly one to start. <laughs> Let me explain. I'm going to ask you three, right? You've got one question right. I'm going to ask you four questions, OK? You've got to get three out of four right. And if you get them right, you're going to get to choose a key, right? You can choose from one to ten. I can't tell you, because I, I don't know, what prizes are contained in what boxes, OK? I'll try and buy the key off you that you choose. In other words, you can take the money or you can open the box. But listen carefully, David, because there is another key, and that's key to box 13. And I do know what's in box 13. That could be a, a goodie, it could be a nothing, it could be brill, it could be nil. But for the benefit of the viewers at home, this is the key that will also open box 13 tonight. Right, now everybody's looking around, but we didn't show you. <laughs> because you might help Dave, and we don't want David to know. Okay, you got one question, we'll see if you can get the rest. How many loaves are there in a baker's dozen? Thirteen. There are thirteen. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, Dave. One more question. You've got two to go, so you're with a good chance now. How's your sporting knowledge, okay? Well, so I kick the ball sometimes. You kick a ball sometimes, yeah. okay. In what sport could you see a long leg, two maidens, and a couple of bouncers? Cricket. Cricket it is right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There are the keys. Take your pick. Uh, number eight. Number eight. Okie doke. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do, Dave. Like, this, is, this is the good stuff. I'll give you eight pounds for that key. No. I'll give you 18 pounds. No. 28. No. 38. 48. No. 50. No. 60 pounds. No. 60 pounds? No way. 70 pounds. No. What about 80 pounds? No way. Uh, I'll give you, Dave. A hundred and fifty pounds, Dave. That's a big tip. Open the box. You're, you're going to turn. He's turned down a hundred and fifty pounds, and he's going to open box number eight. Let's take a slow walk over here, David, and see whether you've you've made the right decision. Box number eight. There you are. Will it fit? <laughs> well, I don't know. It usually does every week, right? Turn it around. Hand me the card, and we'll see whether you did the right thing. How much you turned down here? Come on, Dave. I'm not sure. 150. 150 pounds, and you have won John McEnroe's Book of Compliments. Right. <laughs> there you go, John. That's the way it goes, John. And the next contestant right in here, please. John, who really didn't oh. want to play. No, he didn't. No, did you, John? <laughs> he didn't want to play, did you, John? <laughs> What's his score? I'm enjoying it now, Mia. Good. <laughs> <laughs> 28 seconds. 28 seconds. Thank you, Jody. 28 seconds. That's pretty good. Yeah. That's a lot more than the others do. So you're here now. And all you got to do, we'll have a little chat, you and I, and then you get to get into the questions and maybe win a key. What's your ambition? What would you like to do in life? Well, do you have one secret ambition. Uh, travel to the USA and see the USA. How would you like to travel and see Mexico? Because it's just over the border, you know. <laughs> yeah, we're pretty good, wasn't it? <laughs> you get the next. You get the next three out of four questions right, and you could be going to Mexico. Oh, first question. Don't rush in. What is a red herring? Is it a Russian delicacy, a fish called Wanda, or a, f <laughs> or a false clue? False clue. A false clue. It is. <laughs> What word is an Irish town and the thing that keeps champagne in a bottle? <laughs> a cork, <laughs> yeah. Cork! <laughs> what is the maximum sport a player could achieve with three darts? What is the maximum score with three darts? 180. 180! <laughs> there it is. Take your pick, John. Uh, take number six. Number... Six. Number six. Okay. Well, I'll give you six pounds for that, John. Yeah. Come here. Come on, look at it. I'm going to think about it. I'll give, I'll give you 16 pounds for it. Got okay. about 30 pounds. John, I'll give you 50 pounds. No, thank you. <laughs> 50, 100. I like that key. I'll give you 150 pounds. Hang on, I haven't finished yet, John. I like the key. You like the key? I'll give you 200 pounds for that key. <laughs> 250 pounds, what should he do? 250 pounds. <laughs> okay. He has turned down 250 pounds. Box number six. six. Okay, let's take a little walk, John. I hope you made the right decision. So do I. Because you didn't want to come in the first place. Put the key in there, turn it, hand me the card, and we will go for a little stroll down at the front here. How much did you turn down? 250, 250. pounds, isn't it? And you've won perfumes by Giorgio of Beverly Hills. A very expensive and wonderful prize. OK, thank you very much, George. At least you're going to smell good doing the mate. Thank you very much, John. Thank you, John. And the next contestant right in here, please. <laughs> Here's Dave from Orpington, yeah. and Dave is our third contestant. <laughs> well, Dave, you're doing very well, and you've got a whole <laughs> gang of people here. Thank Not you, Joe. A whole gang, obviously, on your side. Is this your mob from the Nat West, is it? It certainly is, yeah. <laughs> 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 
Well, they're, they're watching with interest. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you don't. Single says? I am. <laughs> Who are you keen on? Any one of you? Is there... Because I know about these office parties. Oh, there's people... a young lady up there called Mandy. She's really lovely. What does she do? What does she do with her? She's a personnel officer. Oh, does she work with floppy disks and things like that? Anything that's floppy, she works with it. She's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> would you consider yourself floppy? I mean, um, are you a sort of a... Um, no, I wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. OK. She seems to know. <laughs> What's been going on behind the filing cabinet? <laughs> All right. Um, what, uh, ambition. What, it says here... I don't believe this ambition. <laughs> You've got to do it. Sing a dick-a-dum-dum on a Des Icona show. <laughs> <laughs> you were like... Now, I promise you I haven't set this up. You would... Act, would you sing dick-a-dum-dum on my... You see, I know Nat West isn't the listening bank, but we, <laughs> we would listen. Would you do a bit of dick-a-dum-dum? Go on, yeah. just sing a dick a dum dum Dick-a-dum-dum-a-dick-a-dum-dum. A dick a dum dum, a dick a dum dum, a dick a dum dum, a dick a dum dum. That's good. Okay. Well, you got to get three out of four questions right. You get a choice of a key. Wish you luck, Dave. And I'm sure that lot's on your side. If a Chinaman has a rickshaw, don't rush into this. If a Chinaman has a rickshaw, has he got a two-wheel carriage, a takeaway, or a pain in the neck? A two-wheel carriage. He's got a two-wheel carriage. <laughs> what is the Cockney word for chat? And it also means an animal. Rabbit. Rabbit! Rabbit. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Come on down was the catchphrase used by Leslie Crowther on which show? The Price is Right. It was! Yeah. And <laughs> Take your pick. Number four. Number four. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Hold on. <laughs> right. What's this mean? <laughs> I tell you what it means. It means you've chosen the key that can also open box 13 tonight. I've got box 13 in my pocket. Now, as I told you at the beginning of the show, I do know what's in box 13. And it could be something fantastic, it could be something quite drastic. <laughs> And I really mean that. It could be good, it could be bad. Because it's 13, doesn't necessarily mean it's wonderful. You've chosen box number four. I don't know what's in box number four, but for the benefit of all the viewers at home, we've got to find out a box, <laughs> about box 13. And this is what is contained in box 13 tonight. <laughs> now I'm going to have to try and bid, and as there are two keys on the table, I'm going to take up the bidding fairly high here. I'm oh, going to offer you £100 for those keys. No. no! Put your hand up. 50, 100, 150, 200, 300, 350, 400 pounds. What you doing? Hang on a minute, bro. He's got 400 pounds in his hand. He can walk away with that. Or he can open the box. Your decision, Dave, at the end of the day, it's up to you. Four, 450 pounds. That's it. £450. Mandy tells you what to do. What does Mandy say? Open the box. Open the box. Open the box. She said, open the box. <laughs> OK. <laughs> well, that's a big decision. A but bad you, one. <laughs> you, well, who knows? You have another a decision to make now. Do you want to keep your original choice, which was box number four, was it not? Box number four. Or do you want to open box 13? What do you want to do? <laughs> Come on, Dave. 13, Des. <laughs> so the whole of Nat West has told you box 13 and you've turned down box number four. Let's go and see what you would have won in box number four. OK? <laughs> My goodness me, there's a lot of tension here in the studio. You can feed it. Hand it to me. as well. <laughs> Turn around, Dave. Let's see, you've turned down. This you would have won in box number four. You would have won a ball cock. <laughs> <laughs> Let me have a look. In box 13, and this is what you've won, OK? <laughs> you've won... Oh, an what? odd sock! <laughs> oh, an odd 
Sure. <laughs> oh, well, I tell you what, seeing as everybody's on your side, we'll send you another one. The other one oh, that goes well. Oh, Dave, I'm ever so sorry. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, and the next contestant right in here. Hello. My goodness, this, this can be a hard game, Tracy, but that actually is working in your favour because all the goodies are up here. Oh, God, for that. And all the money is here. And what did Tracy do? Well, little Tracy's waving the flag for the ladies with 21 seconds. Thank you, Jody. Yeah. 21 seconds. Not bad. Not bad. Pretty good, I'd say. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't mean that last is not best, does it? You're no, the last one? Really okay, best. Tracy. Tr is this your name? It surely is. Tracy Bedding. Oh. Oh, please don't. B E D D I N G of Feltham. <laughs> Tracy Bedding. I'm not making it as Tracy Bedding of Feltham. You could have come from Oldham, I suppose. <laughs> um, all right, are you married? No, not yet, anyway. Single bedding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I couldn't resist that. Okay, Trace, take a nice deep breath. Called you Trace. Hope you don't mind. No, I'll get used to it. Shirley Bassey gets annoyed if I call her <laughs> Shirl. Did you know that? She hates it. Like, don't call me Shirl, she said. Okay. First question. Listen carefully. One of these collaborations isn't quite right. One of them isn't quite right. Don't rush in. Which one? Rogers and Hammerstein, Gilbert and Sullivan, Brahms and List. <laughs> The last one, Brahms and yeah. Liszt. You're right. That was a guess, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, good guess. <laughs> you had me worried there for a minute. Uh, according to superstition, what might you find at the end of a rainbow? A pot of gold? Yes. <laughs> what is the name of the character played by Gordon Kay in Hello, Hello? Watch it. You don't watch no. it? Oh, I'm glad because that's the BBC. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was Renee. I'm oh, ever so sorry. No. But you're still in here with a chance, okay? One chance, all right? And it's a strange coincidence I should have said this. Who recorded, who recorded a lady singer born in Wales? <laughs> <laughs> who recorded something? Kiss me, honey, honey. She's born in Wales from Cardiff. I mentioned a name not too long ago. Renee. Who? <laughs> Shirley Bassey. Shirley Bassey. <laughs> Tracy, you're there. Oh, Take God. your pick. Um, I love number nine. Number nine, doctor's orders. I'll give you £99 for number nine. <laughs> give me a hand. 50. I'm going to give you 100, 150, 200, 250 pounds. Think how much you can buy. Nice. 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 £250. Nice. Oh, okay. She's turned down. She's turned down £250. Tracy, we're hoping you did it right. Let's open the key. Is this six or nine? Nine. It's nine. Okie okay, doke. Let's go see what you've turned out. What you're going to win, we should say. Turn down a lot of money. Put it in the key to box number nine. Turn the key. Give me the card. Let's go for a little straw. Oh, I'll God. hold my hand, Tracy. <laughs> oh, Tracy. <laughs> Renee. You've won a walnut whip. Oh! oh, I'm ever so sorry. Oh, that's how it happens. That's the first time we've ever lost or given away three boobies in one show. But do tune in next week when someone may win a trip to the sun or maybe a stale current bond. That's the way it goes on Take a Pick. See you next week. Say goodnight, Jody. <laughs>Tonight at nine, it's a Royal Rumble. The legends of the ring are having a get-together, as only they do, as TNA presents Impact Wrestling. Then at 11, there's a bit of TNA unfinished business. You know, that Sting versus Rude face-off. Yeah, I think Dixie Carter remembers.